And now we're going to talk about, see, I, I've been getting a little bit of rock fever. And I don't much, you know, but I have been getting a little antsy to take a trip. <laughs> I mean, so um, I'm a voyeur in a way, a voyeur, voyeur? Yes, I am. And, and I really enjoy hearing about other people's adventures. When I can hear about what other people have done, it makes me feel almost like I have ex participated in the journey. Yeah. So, What's well, the same when we plan people's trip? It's because it? your, your head has to get into that trip. Uh -huh. I, that's how I think about I it. I hadn't thought about so that. So some days I've gone all around the world in my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're but certainly kind of visiting the places because you have to go yeah, to all the websites and everything, right? Yeah, the websites, you know, all the different, you know, like th all the components of um, planning the trip. Airfare, transfers, tours, cruise. Hotels. Uh, hotels. Yeah. I mean, so you're just kind of like. Cars and yeah. Yeah. yeah all you're in, in there. You're in it. Yeah. You're in it. and then, Like it's your own trip. Yeah. So that's how it. Well, I know Hannah is one of those travelers. It's fun. We, we know each other from, well, way back, but also at uh, yoga class. So mm -hmm. it's always fun to hear about who's doing what. Mm -hmm. And when I talked to you about four or five months ago, you were like a little kid jumping up and down. You were so excited mm -hmm. to do yeah. your wedding over again. Oh, you weren't yeah. even thinking it. You, I don't think you even used the term vow renewal. You said, I'm getting married again. <laughs> right. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. You looked at it like uh -huh. that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a wonderful guy, and he, he did. He proposed and asked me to marry him again. We did have our vow renewals here on Maui. We decided that would be very simple and nice. We only had a, a couple people as witnesses, and and Blaine Tinsley from Unity uh, Aww, did the ceremony. Nice, and, and, you know, great crowd at in Unity. In your house? <laughs> yeah, in my house. And Aww. I have to tell you, thank you for inviting me. This is a wonderful way to spend my lunch hour. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to think about garbage. Well, at for all, years right? you did talking trash here right. on the air, yeah. so you did your own show here yeah. for years, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Any anyway, so I, I really agree about the planning part of the trip. That's like really a fun part of travel. Mm -hmm. And people think that the travel sometimes just starts when you get on the plane. No, you can have so much fun looking at this and learning about this and That's deciding what you're going to. I think it's a major part of it. Yeah. I think And it, and, it, and on, the on learning, you said the word learning. And, and it's funny because everyone has a little different attitude the way they do it. I hate to say a lot of times I do read a little bit. I download some books and then I will get on the plane and I'll just jam deep into it but I know John will be doing all the homework for me so he may have six books he may get the Frommers book and he'll get some of the others I mean he'll have books and books and books and books and I'm go so I just trust him to know everything so it's like okay well, tell me about it now and it's like wait a second you've had the books to read for three months and how come you want me just to tell you about it now well, I said it's faster that way yeah. <laughs> and it's fun conversation <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah so no it is a part of it and I think actually learning about the area, a little bit about the history, a lot about what's going on, um, it may be one of the most important parts of travel in a way because it is immersing yourself in knowing about where you're going and you learn a lot. And it's 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 different for everyone, but did you, did you get a couple travel books or how did you just do it online or how did you do your research? Well, actually, we were traveling with some friends that did a lot of research. I'm really busy, so I didn't have time to do much. Uh, and we ended up not taking the standard tours, but uh, teaming up with uh, like uh, the four of us teaming up with another couple, and then renting a, 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 a vehicle, and then doing our own private. Little oh, so tour. you didn't do the shore excursions at all? Uh, well, we did shore excursions, but but we thought that this would be a little bit more in, in line with what we wanted. So and let's let's explain what you did. So this was a big deal for you and. You decided to do something you hadn't done before, right? Which was the Holland America cruise from Montreal mm -hmm. to Boston. Mos Montreal to Boston, and it was about a thousand <coughs> passenger ship, mm -hmm. and and about five hundred staff. And let me start with the ship, okay? I per personally, I have a different viewpoint about staying on a ship. Where we like to stay is midship, ocean level inside. Mm. We've done the stateroom thingy. Mm -hmm. We had uh, when we took the kids to the Caribbean. We had the you know the, the only nicer suite was the presidential suite, right? So we did that. We are never in our room, and so 
we took we we did the inside stateroom, and we found out that it's like a sleep chamber. It's so dark and it's so quiet, and and you control the air. Mm-hmm. We uh, we sleep better on a cruise ship than <laughs> than we sleep anywhere. Now another reason why we like to be on the like the third deck here is because the buffet is on the 11th deck. And we have this rule. If we are going to eat, we're going to hike. You walk up and down the stairs. stairs? No, we don't walk down, ever. That's bad for your knees. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so, <laughs> so we're like on the third. I was disappointed. I have to. I had to be on the fifth this time, but <laughs> I couldn't get into third. Well, that's still but five yeah, floors. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's the routine that we're on, and we walk the ship. There's art all over ships. Some of it's uh, on some ships is more interesting yeah. than others, but you can all. There was a, a great photography uh, um, uh, display on on our floor black and white of like the 40s and the 50s and and there were the women in in the picture at the um you know the um uh, the showroom and they had on their manks and their like four inch high heels oh. and, and their you know coiffed hair was it from people doing cruises or yeah, was it, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 it's all about ships and things anyway so so it's very interesting for us to walk around the ships and besides we found that if we if we follow the rule if we if we hike to eat, we don't gain weight. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So so but that's the only way to do it. You have to, you know, increase your movement. And so and it's all it's also good for your heart and everything. So we Did you do, do the spa exercise room or anything? Or oh, oh, now that you brought up the spa. Uh-huh. Okay. We have found that on most cruises Nobody or very few people are interested in the hot tub and the steam room and the spa facilities and those wonderful heated benches that you lie I on. I love those. And you like those. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. ceramic ones. Yeah, it's they, got it, good ones on celebrities. Yeah, they have the like small yeah. little uh, one-inch yeah. square uh, tiles. And, yes, tile and, and it's yeah. all curved and fits your body. And it's warm, and it just takes out all of the kinks of the day. Anyway, so what we found is that not, you know, there's not that many people that are interested in the spa stuff. So we we buy the spa package, and a cruise ship um, bathrooms are notoriously, uh, um, what can I say? Tiny. Not tiny. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> oh, they are. They're tiny. Okay. Efficient and well designed. <laughs> okay. There's only once right. when I was in a, a special right. owner suite that right. it wasn't. But yeah, I guess. right. Otherwise, they're tiny. They're tiny, and so that's where. So we'd go. You know. We we do the tub and then we do a little steam and lay on the bench and and the and the showers in the um, in the spa area are really nice and big <laughs> and so and so that's that's where we would you know uh, d- uh, take care of um, uh, you know making sure that our bodies were all relaxed and clean yeah. and, and all that so um, but th- like I said. Most people on ships, because we, I've, most, there was only one time of the four, se- all the seven days that we were up there that that anybody else was in that room, and it was big and beautiful. Well, you know, I found yeah. it depends on where you're going, because some, there's, especially on ocean days, the spas are packed. If you have an ocean day where you're not uh-huh. doing a cruise, that's the day people book all their spa t- activities. Mm-hmm. And some ships, like I, th- I think the Celebrity Solstice, because of their yeah. aqua class days, pretty busy. Mm-hmm. And has right. a lot of people in it, but I think on this it depends on your particular ship. But let's and start. We go, I want to go at night. I want to yeah. talk to you about Montreal because I have never been to Montreal, and it's okay. supposed to be so beautiful. Okay. And you started out. You had. You were smart. You gave yourself what four days in Montreal. Four days to jet lag and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I want to say one more thing about the ship. Okay. <clears throat> if you have any dietary concerns, do not be concerned. Uh, usually, on at least in Holland, America, and I'm sure in Crystal too, that if you um, if you give them your information ahead of time, they make sure that you have what you can eat. Because I, I I was recently diagnosed with celiac disease, meaning no gluten. Mm-hmm. So they always made sure that I had everything, even at tea, even at high tea. Wow! They had gluten free. 
That's things. amazing. That that, yeah. that impresses me. Right, right. And so, uh, and uh, if you're vegan or vegetarian, or or you have uh, any kind of dietary restrictions or at all, diabetic, if you let them know ahead of time, and and usually on the website there's something that says special services or, or special needs or whatever. You go in there and you fill it out. Everything was wonderful for me. They had everything that I needed. I love the high teas, yeah. and some ships are kind of well known for it. Others don't uh-huh. even do it, but mm-hmm. but um, high tea is kind of fun, you know. I mm-hmm. but I've never seen a high tea with gluten free. That that's a first they because did. usually yeah. it's all it's all wheat, you know, products and everything. Right? Yeah, yeah. So the, so that was so that's just a, a tip to those that would like to travel. You know, make sure they have your information. Mm-hmm. They will take care of you. Yeah. Now Montreal. Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> first of all. Folks, I know it seems like it's just like part of our country. No, they really do speak French there. So oh, I thought that was Quebec and Fran- No, in Montreal. Too. Oh, in Montreal. Too. Yeah. So, so you get off, you get off the plane, and everything is in French. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm thinking, well, okay, yeah, you know. And uh, um, uh, and so we got off the plane. the The money rate was great, like for. Um, uh, to get two uh, to get two dollars in in uh, Canadian money, it only costs you about a, about a dollar fifty for American. That's good. So so we we hit it at a really good time. I know it's been it's different, yeah. but we were so that was that was an added bonus. Um, Where did you stay? Oh, we stayed at a wonderful B and B Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Okay, we found a really great place. Now this is very interesting. Uh, it was owned by a Chinese couple. They were in their like twenties, and uh, we noticed that most of this building that were people uh, were, were Chinese people, lots of students any, anyway, because we stayed in the student district. So we met them, and I said, "Oh, you know, well, uh, you know, you moved from from China to here. Why did you move from China to here? Well, we have a baby, and the air quality is so bad in China, it was not good for the baby. Wow. It's oh, funny. Right. It finally hit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Boy, and I got really, you know, I had a little, little talk with myself about forgiving the Chinese government for not getting their environmental uh, priorities straight here. Oh, Beijing anyway, especially. So, right, Beijing yeah, is yeah. terrible. It's so, awful. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, it was, it was a lovely little one-bedroom place. It had everything that we needed, including a washer and dryer, which we really wanted because— You had the place to yourself? Or was oh, it yeah. The, no, know? no. We had, we had it to our, oh, ourselves. Oh, it's perfect. And then Montreal is very, very international. And it's also very youthful, uh, the areas where, that are, are usually well-traveled by, by tourists, because there's Concordia University, there's the McGill, there's, a lot, there's other schools that are there. So uh, since we were there, the food around the university districts were really cheap. <laughs> you know, so we had, and we could, you can eat any kind of food there. It's, uh, you know, and they have like 5,000 restaurants or something. Oh, and they have I just a that. huge amount of restaurants. Uh-huh. So, um, and a huge variety of food. It's a good walking city, too, I heard. Isn't oh, it? it's fabulous because it was, it was flat. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and that, that was good for me. And, um, and I, I loved this, the, the Greek uh, grocery store that we went into called Adonis. I love Greek food. Oh, I yeah, would have yeah, eaten yeah. there every day. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And they had this great candied fruit and, uh. and you know, things you, you can't really get on Maui Fabulous cheeses. And, and anyway, but even though it was a Greek grocery store, <laughs> of course, they spoke French. And, uh, and so it was a wonderful experience. They have a fabulous museum there. And it's not just a one building museum. I think there's like four or five different buildings, uh, and uh, and it shows different things. Um, I like Indian art, and um, and I got a, a just a beautiful calendar from from there, um, done by a, a Canadian Indian woman. And let's see. Oh, they have this huge, huge Ferris wheel. Oh right! I didn't get to go on it, but yeah. it's huge. You wouldn't go on. Uh, I wouldn't go on it. Oh, I, yeah, I, I would. would. I would in a New York minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, the downtown area, the old historical uh, historic area, was nice. Uh, Notre Dame, the cathedral, was great. They had a huge light show, uh, and it's not every night, so you have to check. 
and and this is uh, it was really um, and, and they had music with a light show and they showed all the seasons and light all over everywhere. Yeah, you, is it inside or outside? Inside. Oh, okay, some and, buildings now are right. doing them outside. Yeah. yeah, and of course there's street musicians everywhere, and so there's really great music. Uh, I, it's known yeah. as a good music town. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Known yeah, as yeah. a very good music town. Right, and. And the, and uh, there's places to get crafts and things. We didn't do that. Uh, we ended up in Chinatown, at in 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 Montreal, which was really kind of fun because we're in this Chinese restaurant and they're speaking French, which, which was very, you know, kind of. I had to do a little mind switch there, and uh, and 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 that was a, a fun place to be. And you mentioned and, you saw Chinese people who had moved there, so I wonder if there's a uh, Chinese community. Uh, there, I think that there's a huge, uh, there's a huge Chinese community, and I think that the people that, um, like this young couple, uh, who are concerned about about health and air quality, um, even they. Um, they moved. They ditched out of their homeland and came to Montreal. I don't blame them at all. A lot of them moved yeah. to Vancouver too. Uh huh. That's yeah. a very I think huge that, community there. Right, yeah. and yeah. you know, and and just all over. Um, I, Uber works great. Oh, good. My fabulous Uber driver. I loved him. He uh-huh. was he was great. He was my favorite one. So he was from Iran. <clears throat> he's running. He's driving his Uber in his puka shorts. Right, you know. And uh, so I said, well, okay, well, what brought you here and how did you get here and everything? Well, here he is. Uh, he's driving Uber in Montreal. And he came here uh, uh, to get away from the, uh, the graft and, the, and, the, and the, uh, the financial pressure that government would put on him to give up money and things. He was a civil engineer. He had, a, he had 150 employees. I mean, the guy professionally had it made in, in his country. And he had the opportunity. He picked up his two kids, and he was so proud of himself because they just bought a home. Wow. So mm-hmm. the American dream is alive and well in Montreal, believe me. That's the, that's so, a Canadian dream, I think. Uh, the, Cana- <laughs> the Canadian dream. Well, North American dream. North American dream, okay. yeah. Okay, so, um, so that was Montreal. We were there for four days. And then we got on the ship, and the ship was really a lovely, lovely ship. And uh, you can usually have early dining or late dining or uh, as you wish dining. Is there assigned seating times for the uh, main room? Uh, yes, uh, five thirty and then like uh, eight or seven thirty. I, I cannot remember. Mm-hmm. We took uh, we took the early seating. We would have done as you wish dining, and that's where you just go there and and you meet other people and sit wherever, yeah. and you don't have an assigned table. But you sit with someone else. Um, um, I, well, no, they had oh. they had places for two people, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes four people. Um, but there, and the reason we took the early dining was because I thought, oh God, I'm going to drive these people crazy if I have to have different waiters every night mm-hmm. and tell them go through the celiac <laughs> disease thing. Mm-hmm. This is like not a nice thing to do to these people. And so we got we um, we we couldn't get uh, early dining uh, online. It was all whatever, and but. I was advised by my uh, the United uh, Cruise Consultant that I was using. If you go through United, you get cruise points. You get points. Oh, yeah. Is that what you did? Right, went yeah. Through, oh, yeah, we okay. went through United. And then uh, he said, okay, th- the first thing you do when you get off the ship is you go to the maitre d'. So I did, and we, we got the last table for early dining, which worked fabulous because we were at the end of the ship and we had a window nice. and we and, yeah. and we there were two single women uh, traveling separately that were at our table it was lovely it was just just very very lovely um, so anyway so back to Montreal now from Montreal uh, to to Quebec and onward on either side of the St. Lawrence uh, uh, Riverway there are beautiful homes it's very wooded. It's very green. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful home. So it's really fun just to sit there and watch everything go by, even though there's mm-hmm. you know tons of things to do on the ship. It's uh, it was uh, enjoyable to see the terrain and the different houses, and it was um, and the weather. Oh, the weather was fabulous. Mm. We had great, great weather, and the next. Did you view it from the top deck or from a all viewing over. room or wherever? All over. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're always walking all over. Mm-hmm. 
you know, we went to the crow's nest and we were at, you know, and the piano bar. Oh, the piano. Uh, the Piano uh, bar on yeah. Holland. is. Did you have piano bill by chance? Uh, there was, uh, yeah, there was somebody yeah. at the piano bar. <laughs> and well, we, you know? Well, there was one guy on our Holland, piano bill. That was the place to be. Uh, really? It was so much fun. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. And then Adagio with the, with the violin and the piano. That Oh, the music was mm-hmm. so beautiful. I cried. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, so from from Montreal we went to to and it's not pronoun- pronounced Quebec in Canada. It's called Quebec. Quebec. Mm. I did not Quebec. know that. Huh. Well, neither did I until <laughs> I until I think, oh, we're going to Quebec. Okay, <laughs> Quebec City. I think. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, I the, uh, the let me write a note here. Shows. <laughs> I got to tell you about that too. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we're on the so we're on this ship and we watch these beautiful, you know, cruising down in the in in the evening, the early evening with the great fall lighting, which is mm. always golden and lovely. Yeah. And there's beautiful homes going by and trees and everything, and so the the shows at at and the entertainment I thought was uh, was spectacular. Okay, what they, time were the show? Uh, uh, I think it was. I think they were eight. It was that's, like that's at doable. eight, yeah. eight and ten, or or you know, I, I I can't really call because I just like it went where they took with me with the dining, the with first the dining, dining. Mm-hmm. right, right, mm-hmm. yeah, you're right there. Um, anyway, Quebec is. A, listen, if you want to go to a foreign country and you don't want to leave the North American area, I highly recommend that you go to Quebec. It was like walking into France, and it's a beautiful, uh, very, very picturesque little place. Mm. Now, it's uh, built on a cliff, and at the top of the cliff is the fabulous, and they, they tout it as the most f- most photographed hotel in the world. Right? Really? Yeah. The, uh, the Chateau Fontenoc. Fontenoc yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Chateau Have you been there? F- no, Fontenoc. I'm, oh, I'm All right, just now. great. No, it's, <laughs> right. it's famous. It's, huh? yeah, and it's run by the Four Seasons. Pricey, you know, four or five hundred a night, five six, you know, money. But um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, if you want to take it, oh, they have a fabulous tour office at, at in Quebec City, and if you want to take a tour of the uh, Fontenoc Hotel, because you can't really go up and see everything in the hotel is just like you know you just like pretty much can find one floor but you can take a tour and that takes you all over the hill over the hotel and gives you all the history well that's nice of the hotel yeah but um to get from the the um the ship to the upper level you take a a funicular and we took we had a bicycle driver <laughs> take us from from the ship you know was pedaling away oh. and take us to the base of the the um the um uh, the funicular take the funicular up and it puts you on this great big huge huge plaza which overlooks the the waterway and you can see the ship down below and and it's right below the hotel and then you look, and then you turn around and look, and there's all these European buildings, and there's these outdoor cafes, and and um, and now I'm going to talk about something which which people may not be in agreement with, but I grew up in Montana. Okay, I know what it's like in the cold, and we and my father had fur. Okay, my mother had fur, and we were not a family of means. So when I walked into this fur shop. <laughs> Okay, and saw the saw the prices on their on their fur lined um, uh, jacket, um, well, a fur lined a full coat with a hood. Um, I thought about it, and that baby ended up being mine. You, because, but, but <laughs> you're but you're here in Hawaii. When are you gonna? Oh, well, I guess when you travel. Oh, okay, listen. when you travel, you well, okay, wear. okay. I have grandkids. Uh-huh. They live in the Tahoe, Reno area. Oh, that makes I sense. I am expected. Yeah. It is, you know, it mm-hmm. is expected that I go up there and watch them ski. Oh. <laughs> I freeze because yeah, yeah, my yeah, yeah. blood is so thin from living in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, you know, I don't get out of it. I have to at least, at least spend 
a whole afternoon sitting out there watching these, you know. Did you have them ship it? Because that takes a lot oh, of space. Oh, I, I, I had it. Shi- I had oh, okay, them ship it. Okay, because I was oh, trying yeah. to see you pack that I in your bag. I thought about it. I thought it's about like, it. I kept the card. Okay, it, you know, it was half the. They marked it half the price, uh, and then I asked her for the card, and I said, "Give me your best price," and it was like something I could handle because I saved my money for this thing. And and uh, and I thought about it, and then called her back and said, "Okay, you pay the shipping. You know, it's Canadian, and and uh, we'll take the coat." So and so they shipped it. So that's your souvenir, right? From yeah, Quebec. yeah, yeah. And I didn't even have it shipped here. I had it shipped to my oh, son's place that in, makes in sense. California. Very smart. Then you don't oh, have to yeah. carry it with you. Yeah. No, huh? No, no, mm-hmm. no. He can. He, I'll put, he can put it in storage, and it'll be there. When I have to do the the uh, obligatory, <laughs> at least one day on the ski slopes, <laughs> freezing, watching. So now I have this hood. It's um, you know I'm going to be very comfortable, and then I won't whine as much, okay, so, which is every everybody in my family will appreciate that. Okay, so Quebec, go to Quebec. If you That'd want. be a place right, you'd go right. back and spend more time. Oh, it, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh it, yeah. it stole my heart. Yeah. It stole my heart. Okay, from there, we went to um, uh, a place called Charlottetown, and that's on Prince Edward Island. Very interesting place, all right? Uh, this a PEI, as they refer to it, uh, uh, was settled by the Irish. So... Uh, one third of the potatoes are grown on this island. It's very interesting. That one third of the potatoes for for Canada. Mm-hmm. Now the, we 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 got a, a um, uh, this place. Uh, we rented a car and we drove around, and we and it was it was sort of misty and very uh, it was very uh, very bucolic countryside, very soft rolling hills, obviously great soil, lots of green lush vegetation everywhere, Anne of Green Gables houses there, uh, and and uh, you know it was this uh, old spinster and her brother that were, wanted to adopt a boy to help him with a farm and things, and they ended up with this girl. Anyway, the um, <laughs> the author of Anne of Green Gables lived in that house. Oh, seriously? Wow. Yeah, Anne of Green Gables. She, uh, Anne was like a myth. Uh, you know, oh. Anne, but, but we got to see her old typewriter and, you know. Oh, okay. and they just did that on PBS, you know. They oh, had yeah. it on the air just, yeah, last, last Sunday. Uh-huh. Kind of Green Gables, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't familiar with the uh, with the whole storyline. But they had the house and they've got the barn and they've got the carriage nice. where you can sit I, in yeah. and, and, pu- and put the hat on with the red braids. But and it get doesn't feel Canadian taken. at all. It feels you scot- like it feels like Irish, like uh, Ireland. Well, I, I don't know about the, that that part, but the um, uh, the um, uh, the land. I don't know whether it feels Irish or not, uh-huh. but that. Uh, but this is just the history that was was given to us when uh-huh. uh, when we took the cab out to get the air to the um, air, airport to get the car. Mm-hmm. Um, a small, lo- small, lovely little city, mm-hmm. a little town. Maybe two, three-story brick buildings. Um, the flowers were still in bloom because the weather was great. And, of course, I had to have lobster because there was a lobster house right by the mm-hmm. boat. I mean, I had five lobsters on this trip. I mean, Whoa. That's, that's all I ate. Whoa. I mean, you know, like when in Rome, right? Uh-huh. So I had a good time eating lobster. All right. And so we, we drove around uh, uh, Charlottetown. Uh, Charlotte, Charlottetown, but I, I don't think I would return to there. But many people do because they have like, you know, a huge amount of golf courses. Oh, really? And people go there to golf. Huh. It's a real golf haven, and people go there. And we sell little cottages for rent, and we stopped at one little shop where they had all the beautiful, gorgeous hand knit. Sweaters uh, that that the the women had been making uh, that make uh, and they're abs- they're hand done. They they're like the Irish wool sweaters mm-hmm. uh, that you that the cable you, stitch things. The yeah. cable yeah. stitch and all co- all colors. The workmanship was like incredibly out of the so world. So different than the other places there you'd been to. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, yeah. So uh, so that was a, a little cottage industry that that really helped those people out. 
um, and I already decided on the first, so I didn't get the sweater. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, and so then, um, uh, oh, by the way, it is recycle fur. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the shop. That's okay. the name of the shop. Is all the, right, that explains the re- it all. Is, is, is That's recy- what drew you in. Yeah, the, the recycle first <laughs> shop. And I thought, gee, I mean, I didn't plan on, I didn't go there well, planning on doing that. Well, but that eases any kind of guilt. Right, yeah. Recycle first. Yeah. 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 Okay. So and now you're going to be heading into New York? Did you no, stop in New York? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, you didn't no, stop we in did, New York. We didn't go to New York. Oh. Okay. The next place was Sydney. And Sydney was, uh, and, and that was uh, Nova Scotia. Oh. And, and 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 Nova Scotia means New Scotland. That was settled by the Scottish, and we spent the afternoon at the Governor's Pub, listening to Gaelic music. Wow! There was uh, two great fiddle players and an accordion and guitar. Oh, it was fabulous! It's it's not like you would, can walk into a bar here in Maui and, and 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 hear that kind of music, and so that was really really good. Uh, way to spend the afternoon, and since it's Scottish, uh, I had inherited a long plaid kilt skirt that that um, uh, my mother-in-law had purchased in in Scotland, but I didn't have a pin, and so I got you know very inexpensive kilt pin. So now I can keep the thing closed uh-huh. because yeah, it's important and, when you, you sit down. Oh, but yeah. you didn't bring it with you. you oh, I did. That's why I traveled. You brought with. your you brought your kilt with you. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, I'm impressed. That's a lot of planning. Okay, it goes to the ground. <laughs> wow. It, it, it was a great, great travel. Was, uh, you wow. know, I wore it like most of the time on the ship. I just, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Besides, it's plaid and you can spill anything on it. <laughs> Nobody will know. It doesn't get you wrinkled. Know. Yeah. Right. And, I got, and, and people like that. Yeah. They like that skirt. Um, and it's wool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I travel with wool up there because I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a wuss when it comes to cold weather. Okay, so that's how we spent the time in Sydney. Very small little town, uh, not really that much going on. Lovely little harbor and park and things. After that, we went to Halifax, and Halifax is where the uh, the immigrants come into Canada. Halifax was large, three hundred thousand people, stainless steel buildings, a lot uh, uh, old and new. It's sort of like on a hill, on a on a uh, a grade. Um, and uh, and there we went, we we uh, teamed up and and got our own driver who took us out to Peggy's Cove. Now, what was interesting is that the land at Nova Scotia was much different than Prince Edward Island. They it was uh, they had lots of lakes, lots of granite and boulders and rocks. And and when we got to Peggy's Cove, there were huge granite, uh, huge boulders, like mm. twice the size of this room and flattened where by the ocean and a lighthouse at the end. And people were walking around on them. In terms of what's at Peggy's Cove, there's really not very much at Peggy's Cove, but the drive through the country to see how people lived was, was, was very interesting. Lots of homes along the different lakesides and everything. Uh, the trees were very uh, were interesting to me because uh, because of the lack of the soil. They were very short and kind of scraggly pines, mm. and, but I'm sure they must have been like 80 years old. Oh, I, they get you know. very heavy winters there. No yeah. Scotia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see. I see. I see. I see. But the great thing about Peggy's Cove is that right on the street there was a guy that had lobster pots and he'd pick up <laughs> more lobster, lobster. <laughs> and I had another lobster. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then and then uh, um, um, after Halifax we went to Bar Harbor in Maine, Maine. and Bar oh. Harbor is like a, an East Coast Lahaina. Really? Uh huh. But is what, it a whaling old old whaling? Town I don't know if it's whaling. It's mm-hmm. lobster town. Oh, a lobster. The lobster town. licenses. Maine is famous for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, lobsters. Uh, you know, they. Uh, that's where most of the lobster uh, is is used. They only use about a third of what they catch there in Bar Harbor. The rest they ship off. Great, great lobster. <laughs> mm-hmm. For twenty two bucks, you could get a full on lobster wow. meal with all the sides and everything. And so, of course, I had to have one, <laughs> right? <laughs> and they have the little art places and candy places and and some uh, beautiful churches and old old structures. You know, like the old Eastern homes mm-hmm. that with the with the stairwell in the back for the servants. Uh, you know, those types of homes. 
And so we had a really, really good time there. Uh, and then, um, uh, oh, and m- most of the places, when you get off the ship, they usually have a Wi-Fi spot. Which uh, is very important. Very important. But a tip for everyone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've yeah. been through this. I've been through this. You don't want to find a Wi-Fi spot close to the ship because sometimes you get hijacked from the ship. It picks up the ship's Wi-Fi. Right. And if you're too close, it will sometimes automatically find the ship's Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. And I had that happen a couple of times. And the cost, if you get locked into the phone system or the ship's Wi-Fi, it can cost a fortune. <gasps> oh, my goodness. So make That's sure you're tip. not too close. Right. To the ship, right? You know, you have to really look at your Wi-Fi settings and where it's going to. Uh huh. Yeah, and you know, choose choose your. Yes, uh, your it, it, it happens to people. Uh-huh. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, there was a great Wi-Fi park. <laughs> That's where they the Smart. city had. It draws so people. Yeah, yeah, they were just hanging. Everybody's checking everything in the in the park. So Bar Harbor was was lovely. We had a great great time there, and then we uh, uh, disembarked in Boston. And we, I've been to Boston. We've been to Boston before. Mm-hmm. I've been a couple times. And so we stayed Back Bay, which is where we liked. And since we were into walking, we, we went up to Newberry Street, uh, where, you know, shop shops, restaurants, restaurants. Uh, is it a coastal town? Boston? No, yeah. but Newberry Street, is it near the coast? Right on the coast? Uh, no, no, oh, no, okay. no, no, no. It's, uh, it's Back Bay, and it's um, uh, a long street that runs right into the Boston Commons. Oh, so we walked from way, oh we walked for hours uh, on on Newberry Street to to uh, the Boston Commons, where they have uh, make way for ducklings. That's where the, that's, yeah the, yeah that's a real sweet thing, and then the highlight of Boston was, well, I checked in to find out what was playing at the Wang Theater. And the Wang Theater. You remember the, when computers got started, the, the name Wang? Yeah. Word processor? Yeah, right. yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so the family threw their money into the restoration of this huge, beautiful cathedral-like with statues and, and, and frescoes and gold, uh, gold trim uh, theater. Uh, called, and it's called the Wang Theater. Well, Baez was playing. Oh God! And so, we, so we went online, and we we got in nosebleed section, but we got in. I've okay. never seen Joan Baez, and she's oh, retiring she was this year. Yes, yeah, uh, always wonderful. Yeah. She she was just wonderful. And, uh, and now you're off the ship at this point. Yeah, Your yeah, cruise is we're, over. we're off the ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we stayed in at a um, a guest house in in Back Bay, and Boston was lovely. And then then we we. Got on the boat the next uh, the, on the plane the next morning and flew home and that was that you know was what? our trip it, it, and it was a great second honeymoon. It, it mm-hmm. is looking. It sounds to me, you know, it's funny. You think if you do something like this, it'd just be like going to another place in America, but it sounds so international and so flavored with other feelings of each town that it sounds like you're going almost to Europe, but right a lot closer, right? <laughs> a lot closer, yeah. yeah. And probably a lot cheaper too. Right, right. Uh, yeah, especially with the, with the dollar the the way that it is. Now, interesting. Um I see I th- I think we bought in at around like a um it was a 7-day cruise and I think we uh, when we bought it it was like maybe 1100 bucks or something that a, p- cheap? a piece. Wait, wait. And then two weeks before the cruise, I'm checking online. They were the rooms were going for like 400 bucks a piece. <gasps> Not no. so if if you if you uh, if you want to get really good deals and can fly at the last minute, um, you can. That's you unheard can, you of. Can, you can get really. It was three and change. Did you see that ever, Kathy? I mean, that is. I mean, and I'm it, shocked it was like how two, cheap. They, maybe they only had two or three rooms, but they threw it on. They threw Whoa. it on to fill it up. Amazing. And uh, and I don't know whether they did or not, but I thought, oh gee, maybe we should have waited. And I think no. Nah, I think if we you should to- have I think if you nah. told me or called me, I would have jumped on that. I think because oh, yeah. I, I need a trip, and that's such a steal. My yeah. God. John, she yes. needs a trip. I need okay. a trip. I really am. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jonesing John. for a trip. I really <laughs> yeah. am. So we yeah. only have about six minutes left. Uh-huh. And I don't know if we should get into the fact that I'm fascinated with the fact that you found an amazing place. You, mm. she, Hannah Steele is a very good planner. She, you're very organized and you're very good at this. But you found a place that's a retirement home you bought. Yeah, yeah, we do. It's under rental until I decide I don't want to think about garbage anymore. I work for the county. 
and uh, in, in recycling for like uh, 27 years. So at some point, um, uh, we're, we will uh, be half, half time in Maui and half time here in Hawaii. I don't know when that's going to be. I like my work. Half time in Hawaii and half time in... in, in uh, yeah, in, in a place called Rossmore, California. Which is in the Bay Area? It's in, yeah, it's in the Walnut Creek. And what I really, and we research places up and down the West Coast. We would stay in Maui if we could find a retirement community. There's not really a. No. no. I don't want to stay in Rosalind. No. no. <laughs> no I, we, we, you know, we need, uh, we need a little bit more mental stimulation yeah. than yeah. that. This is for active people, really mm -hmm. active people. And so. So several years ago, we did buy, and uh, and it's like I said, it's in rental, and at some point, well, we will do half 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 here and and half in in uh, in well, Rossmore. Well, you Walnut like Creek. traveling, and it's a lot easier sometimes. It's a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. Now speaking of traveling, this is what I really <laughs> what I really liked about it. Okay, is because I can get on the Rossmore bus system right outside my condo. Okay. And it will take me right to Walnut Creek BART, which will take me right to either San Francisco Airport or Oakland Airport. Wow, that's And convenient. I never have to drive wow. in the Bay Area. And, you know, and you know, yeah. I'm I'm pushing pushing the the age numbers here. And well, so, it's also crazy yeah. expensive to yeah. drive in in San Francisco and oh, park yeah. in San Francisco and All everything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, so, and we do have family there, and I talked about the. Obligatory trips to the ski slope. Yeah, that's true. That's not that far from ski. Oh, is it? So no, no, no it's, yeah. it's really not. And and in terms of seeing that that part of the family, all I have to do is get on the train in Martinez, and it will take me up to uh, where they live in in Lake Tahoe. Seriously, in, you can in take four. a train right there? Uh, and not right there. I have to get you know, I'll get somebody to take me to um, to Martinez, which is mm -hmm. like maybe twenty minutes away from where. Rossmore is, but if anybody is interested in and a really great retirement community, they should like let me know, and uh, so get your pen and paper, and I'll say this a few times. You can you can email me at Hannah Steele PhD at gmail dot com. H A N A S T E E L at gmail dot com because it is a great community. There's about 9,000 people there. It's 1,700 acres. It has about 200 different clubs. You can join up and think really? and do anything. It has a 200 clubs is yeah. pretty impressive. It has a woodworking <laughs> shop and a ceramic shop and a fine jewelry shop and fine arts shop and a sewing shop. And it has free movies in the morning and the afternoon or afternoon and evening. But the best thing, it, is, it has a huge, wonderful workout facility and three peel three pools and one of them specifically reserved for the grandkids who will make their obligatory <laughs> visit to <laughs> to see grandpa and grandpa because I have already gone to see them in the winter. <laughs> and you can buy and Tahoe. rent out. Right, yeah. So you can buy and rent it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. that. Yeah, and is it yeah, affordable yeah. to buy? Because I know Northern California yeah. is kind of expensive. It's a lot cheaper than buying something like that in Walnut Creek. That's yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. They range in prices, and and this is another thing I liked about it is because it was a, a huge economic spread. You can get in for two hundred and fifty thousand for a little unit, on up to one point five million. Wow. And uh, and I I I like I like to be in a community with with a huge spread, because I like artists and. Most of them are, aren't really that wealthy. And I'm sure you <laughs> check to see. I'm sure they recycle. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, not only, yeah, the, yeah, they put Moe to shame. I'm, I'm sorry, because they have, they have curbside everything. They got you everything. wouldn't do anything until yeah. you would made sure they were okay yeah. with recycling, but, right? Okay, but so here's a tip to guys. It's really a nice thing to to ask your wife to marry you again and to <laughs> take totally a agree. trip. And especially, and I'm so interested in, in what, what Kathy to Gucci has to offer on the, uh, it's the the crystal. Is that it? No, it's Paul Gauguin. Or this one? Oh, Paul Gauguin? Tahiti? Oh, Tahiti. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tahiti. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, definitely yeah. I need that information. <laughs> I would love to do that. 
can you get on in uh, if you're going to Tahiti from Maui? Can you get on in Oahu? Yeah. Do you have to fly someplace to get on? Well, for this particular Pogogon, you have to fly to Tahiti. But you and, go to Oahu from here to mm-hmm. Oahu on yeah. Hawaiian Airlines. You go from uh-huh. Hawaiian Airlines direct, like five and a half hours. You get down there really mm-hmm. fast. It's only five and a half hours to Tahiti. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's an easy trip. Oh my God! I thought yeah. it was so much oh, longer. No, no, That's no. like you can get you can get to San Francisco. Mm-hmm. It's in exactly five and the same hours. thing. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and oh. you land, and they take you. And Kathy arranges so they take you for free right over to the ship, and you get on the ship and board by midnight, middle before midnight, and you wake uh-huh. up on another island in the morning. Oh, and it's and it's like and going it, back and, to and, how I used to it and, used and, to be. And so it 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 tours you all around Tahiti, mm-hmm. and lots four islands. Ah. You go to uh, Huahine, Bora Bora, Morea, um, and then back to Papiate. Ah. And it's cheaper than if you were to stay in a hotel there in, in Tahiti. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay. And now the food when, is when, to die when for. Do you French leave? food. French food. When does the Paul Gauguin? Uh, we have uh, five seconds. From Tahiti. <laughs> we, we have, have a few six days. seconds. I can email you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Take the trip, <laughs> guys. I, I, Do I, it. I love talking like this. Um, call Kathy at two four two fourteen fourteen. We're out of time, but thank you for listening. Aloha.